Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. This is Muhammad Abu Tahir from Trendy PP. Welcome all of you to today's English class. As you know, tenses are the fundamental topic of English grammar. Moreover, we can say that tenses are the backbone of English grammar. Without knowing tenses, nobody can make any sentences or write any sentences. So, learning tenses is very important. Isn't it, my dear friends? Earlier in a video, I discussed about the percentage of tenses in our daily usage and you know 80% of the sentences we use in our daily conversation in our writing activities these are in present tense in today's video I'm going to discuss the structure and the examples of present tenses, of kinds of present tenses, so that you can learn 80% of English grammar. Okay? That means 80% tenses in English grammar. So, our today's lesson, our today's class will be very interesting, will be very fruitful, useful. So I'm going to request all of you to listen very carefully. Okay, my dear friend, as you can see on the screen, tense is divided, classified into three kinds. Number one is present, number two is past, and number three is future. As example, I uh, also can say, I go to school, that is present tense. That means the work is uh, done in present time. And I went to school, it is past tense. That means I went to school in the previous time not in present and I shall go to school that means I shall or will we can say I will go to school in future not in present not in past okay that means if the work is done in present time there is present tense and in past time there is past tense and in future time that is future tense that is very easy now we can go to the another example, you can see here mother cooks food. That means in present tense, we have to add extra as or es after the verb one or base form of verb. Then mother cooked food, that is past tense, and mother will cook food, that is future tense. Okay, enough examples are given here. So I think there is no confusion what is tense and what are the examples of tenses. Okay, very good. Now we have to look at the slide. Uh, in the table, you can see their present, past, and future are uh, classified into more four kinds. We know that very well in my present, my uh, previous video, uh, I also discussed the tenses, introduction of tenses, so you can uh, watch the video to better understand being the tenses of classification of tenses. As you can see on the screen, the present tense are divided into four categories. Number one is present simple, two present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous. 
and in the first tense it is divided again into four kinds first simple first continuous first perfect first perfect continuous and future can be uh, divided to into four categories future indefinite or future simple future continuous future perfect future perfect continuous okay okay fine now we uh, are going to discuss present simple okay that means our today's discussion will be present tense and all the present tenses the four kinds of present tenses that means uh, i also told that nearly 80 percent that means 79 percent or 80 percent nearly 80 percent uh, sentences we use in our daily conversation, in our writing activities, we use present tense. Okay, so present tense is very important. We have to learn, we have to discuss present tense uh, very well. And I think it is very simple, very easy to you, all of you. But I want to remember uh, again, Present tense, present simple tense, uh, usually we say that present indefinite tense also, no problem. Uh, present simple tense, how to form present simple tense? The structure of present simple tense is the subject plus verb plus object. Very simple. In a sentence, we have to put or use a subject. And then we have to use or put a verb and object. Okay? This is very simple. So, look at the example. I play in the field. Okay? Uh, what is the subject of this sentence? Okay, fine. I is the subject. Play is the verb in the field. It is the object. Okay? The field is the object and in is a preposition. So, to... Uh, Complete the sentence in its used and I play in the field. That is the sentence and we can see here one subject, one verb and one object. So very simple. Okay. We can make a lot of examples uh, like he plays in the field. That means uh, the person I takes the play and the person he, that means third person singular number, in case of third person and singular number, you have to add S or ES after the main verb, okay, principal verb. So he plays in the field, okay. Now play, plays, very important thing. And look at the slide, there is subject and you can see there in the left portion of the table, I, you, we, they. Okay. And the right portion of the table, he, she, it, name. And we can use the verb, only the verb, that means verb one or verb base form of verb, after I, you, we, they. Okay. Then come to the next one that means after he she it name third person if it is third person singular number then we can use verb plus as or yes look at the example live okay the first one live i live you live we live they live okay then lives that means uh i think after he he lives, she lives, it lives, and Mina lives, or any other kinds of names you can use. Okay. Write, I write, you write, we write, they write. Okay, fine. He writes, she writes, it writes, and Mina writes, Rathon writes, as well as. Okay. A lot of examples you can give. That is very easy. So I think now you are sure, you are confirmed 
how to use uh, up as or years after the main verb in present simple. And that is a very important thing. You have to note that only third person singular number after the third person singular number, you can use as or years after the verb. And in pre without present simple tense, you cannot use them. Okay, very good. Now, we can go look at the next one, present simple and formation of present simple. What is the formation? What is the structure? He, she, it, name plus bar one plus as or es plus object. Okay. Again, I am saying he, she, it, name, bar one plus as or es plus object. Clear? Okay. Now, come to the next. I, you, we, they, bar one plus cross. That means no need to use or put as or yes after the bar one when the persons are I, you, we, they. When the subjects are I, you, we, they. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, come to the examples. I'm going to give some examples. She watches TV. We watch TV. Mahi speaks English and I speak English. It works well. They work well. And Papri helps me a lot. And you help me a lot. Okay. So as you can see, after she watches, after we watch, Mahi speaks. I speak. It works, they work. Papri helps, you help, not helps. Okay, very good. That is the formation and the examples. I think if you look at the examples very well and look at the formation or structure as well, I think you uh, will be uh, Proficient in using present simple. Okay. Very good. Now, present simple negative. How to write or form present simple negative sentences? Most of the time we have to use them. And there is very important thing. Do and does. The helping verb. Okay. The auxiliary verb. Do or does uh, should be used. Do plus ES is equal to does and try plus ES, tries like this as, as well. You can form any other kinds of sentences or words. The formation of the present simple negative sentences, that means structure, he, she, it, name, plus doesn't, okay? Not don't, doesn't, plus verb one plus object. Okay, fine. Now, I, you, we, they, plus don't, not doesn't, plus verb one, object. The only difference between the two, that means doesn't and don't. If the subject is he, she, it, name, doesn't will be used, and I, you, we, they, takes don't, not descend. And verb one, object, all other kinds of uh, pairs will be used as usual. Okay? Now, Mina doesn't talk with her friends. This is the example. Mina is the third person singular number. There is name and after Mina, doesn't should be used. Okay? They don't talk with their friends. Friends, okay. They is the plural number. If uh, though it is third person, uh, third person, it is plural. Okay, so don't will be used. She doesn't work in a school, and I don't work 
in a school. Okay, so I think it is now very clear to you. After third person singular number, you have to use present and rest of them you have to use don't. So it's very simple. Now present simple interrogative. That means how to write or how to use present simple interrogative sentences. Okay. Now look at the question mark. Okay. You have to use the question mark after the sentences of present simple interrogative. And Helping verb will be used again, do or does. And formation, that is very important. Before the subject, your helping verb, that means do or does, must be used here. Okay? So do or does plus subject plus verb one plus object. And the rest of the sentences are as usual. But before the subject, we have to use do or does. Okay, now look at the example, please. Do you speak Hindi? Okay, does she speak Hindi? And before you, that means it is second person, we have to use do. And in, the, in case of third person singular number, she, we have to use does. Again, look at the, look at more examples. Do they like to play? Okay. Does Mina like to play? Okay, very good. Now, present simple WH words or WH family. How to form the WH words or family? We are now going to discuss about this. And look at the WH family. What, where, who, when, which, why, whose, whom, and how. Okay. All are the WH words or WH family. The formation. WH word plus do or does. Plus subject plus verb one plus object. And if you look at the formation very carefully, you can easily find out that Present simple interrogative and present simple WH family are uh, almost same, but only WH word should be used before the do or does helping verb. It will be the WH family. Okay. So we can give some example now. Where does she work? Okay. Where do you live? And how does Shamanta help you? And how do they help you? Okay. Which pen does he need? And which pen do we need? It is very easy, I think. If you look very carefully, it will be easy to understand. Okay. So, uh, again, I'm going to say the formation or structure of the WH family sentences. WH word. At first, you have to put or use WH words. Okay. What, where, who, when, which, why, whose, home, how. Then you have to put or use do or does, then subject, then verb one and object. After the sentence, you have to put a question mark again. Okay. Very good. Now, look at the Present continuous tense. I think present simple is very clear to you. And uh, if you uh, look at the present simple, your 60% sentence uh, of so your daily use are now clear. Okay. Now present continuous. Present continuous means what? Present continuous means the word is uh, going to be uh, continued. Okay. Then it is to stop. Now, what type of words we are going to do, we are uh, doing. That means now I am speaking. That is present continuous. Now I am reading. 
or now I am teaching all are present continuous tense. Okay. So look at the uh, look at the words he, she, it, name. That means they are the pronouns or they are the uh, subject. If the subject is he, she, it, name, the verb that means to be verb, verb to be is, is, should be used. And after I, we have to use M. And then you, we, they, we have to use R. After you, we have to use R, we, are, they, are. He is, she is, it is, name. That means Mina or Rotan, any kinds of name you can say uh, is, I am. Okay, so now look at the formation of the sentences. Formation, subject plus am, is, are, plus verb one. And you can see here, verb one plus ing, ing, and plus object. Okay, so uh, it is now clear to you, subject plus am, is, are, plus verb plus ing, verb 1 plus ing and object. Okay. Uh, sorry to say C is not, uh, it shouldn't be included here. Okay. Okay. Fine. Only subject plus am is a plus verb plus uh, ing and object. Example. She is learning English. Okay. Then I am learning English. We or they are learning English. Okay. My mother is cooking food and I am cooking food and he is cooking food. So it is very easy to you. Very good. Now they are cooking food. Okay. Now present continuous interrogative. How to form or how to build present continuous interrogative sentences, the formation or the structure. Before subject, we have to use am, is, or are. Then subject, then verb plus ing plus object. Verb one must be used, okay? In base form of verb. Example, example, is she playing badminton? Clear now. If you say it is uh, present continuous, only present continuous and assortive sentence, then you have to say that she is playing badminton. And at the in case of present continuous interrogative, is must be uh, put or is, is must be used before subject. Is she playing badminton? That is the example. Then am I playing badminton? Because the subject is I, so M is used. Are they playing badminton? Okay. Now, WH family. Whenever it is in case of WH family, we have to use uh, the formation like this. WH family, M is R plus subject plus verb one plus ing and plus object. Okay, same uh, formation, but before M is R, that means the verb to be, you have to use WH family. Okay, now look at the example. Where is she going? Okay, uh, if you uh, use the sentence in uh, without WH family, what it will be? Is she going? That is the sentence. Now, in case of WH family, we have to say, where is she going? Then, where are you going? Then, where are they going? Okay. This is very important. And I think it is very easy to. So, you can be learned very easily. And where are you going? Okay, then is she, are you, are they, are you? Okay, now 
present perfect, the third one. Present perfect means the work which is uh, finished just now. Okay. The formation of present perfect is the structure of present perfect is subject plus as or have plus verb three plus object. Verb three means what? You know better. Okay. Verb three means verb plus participle form. Okay. Very good. Now, he, she, it, name. After them, has must be used. And we, I, you, they. After them, have must be used. Okay. Now, look at the example, please. Rathul has done the work. And I have done the work. In case of Rathul, has is used. And after I have is used. So there is a variation. They have done the work. I have done the work. They have done the work. Ratul has done the work. He has done the work. She has done the work. It has done. Okay. Like this. Now you have played football. More examples are given. We have played football. And she has played football. Okay? Very good. Now, present perfect interrogative. Okay? In case of interrogative, what is the formation? What is the structure? Formation of present perfect interrogative. That means before the subject, we should use has or have. Clear? Has or have, that means have verb plus subject plus verb 3 means a uh, plus participle form of verb and the object. Look at the sentence. And after the sentence, we have to use the question mark as usual. Okay. Has he written a letter? Oh, fine. Has Mina prepared her lesson? Mina, he, all are present. Uh, that is third person singular number. And we is third person, first person, and plural number. So we have to use, have we gone to school? Have they helped their friends? Have you made a mistake? Okay. Then has she done the work? More examples are given. Then has she drunk water? Have they played in the field? Then... WH family, before WH family, we can say again, uh, as you can see the formation and the structure on the screen, has or have plus subject plus bharti three plus object. Has he written a letter? Has Mina prepared a lesson? Have we gone to school? Have they helped their friends? Have you made a mistake? Has she done the work? Has she drunk water? Have they played in the field? Okay, now come to the WH family. WH family, the formation. At first, we have to discuss WH family. We have to use or put. And then after WH family or WH word, you have to add has or have. Then subject and then part three and object. Okay, that means we only use WH family before the present perfect interrogative sentences. Okay. Then, who has done the work? Okay. Then, what have you given her? Then, where do they live? Where do they live? Okay. Now, very good. Present perfect continuous, the last one. The last one, present perfect continuous tense. And as you can see on the screen, from past, that means the work started earlier in the past period, first time, and it is till now continuous. That means the work is uh, going to be continued uh, in present time. So before first time to present, there is present perfect continuous. Okay. Now, 
Mina has living in Chittagong since 2010. Okay, 2010. That means uh, Mina's living in Chittagong started from 2010 and it is now she is living till now. So this is present perfect continuous tense. Are you clear, everybody? Look, again, the work started from the past and it is now going on. That is present perfect continuous. Look at the another example. We have been reading in this school for five years. There is a question. Since and for why in both sentences are different. And the first sentence since is used before 2010 and before five years we use for. Okay, we should discuss it later. I have been playing cricket since morning and the formation. Look at the formation or structure. Subject plus has or have plus been and verb one plus ing because it is like continuous tense plus object, plus for and since preposition, plus time. Time, uh, a time before a time, you have to use for or since, okay? Then look at the sentences or look at the examples here. He, she, it, name is equal to has been and I, we, you, they is equal to have been. That means in case of he, she, it name has been must be used and I, we, you, they have been should be used. He has been, she has been, it has been, Mina has been, I have been, we have been, you have been, they have been. Okay. Now, since and for, since versus for, where since is used and in uh, where for is used. As you can see at the uh, in case of fixed time we must use since like 2010 and morning. If we can say I have been playing cricket since morning. There is a fixed time. From the morning we started our uh, play playing cricket. So till now it is going on and for is not fixed. That means five years, 12 years or any kinds of time you can see. That means in case of fixed time, we have to use since and not fixed time, that indefinite time, then you have to use for. Okay. Come to the next present perfect continuous interrogative. How? we can use or form present perfect continuous interrogative sentences. Formation has or have plus subject plus been plus verb plus ing object plus for or since plus time. Okay. Then the sentence example, has she been working for two hours? Has she been? Has she been? working for two hours okay and then have they been playing since 4 p.m okay this is a fixed time 4 p.m and two hours it is not fixed so for and since okay again wh family in case of w's wh family we have to form this sentence in this style wh family has or have subject been r plus ing object for or since plus time then question mark should be given why have you been living here since 2010 okay what is she doing there for two hours okay then i think now it's time for leaving 